Hey, welcome back to the channel. You know, you've probably seen the VHS effect filters all over social media nowadays. They make your videos look like this. Is it really what VHS look like? I don't remember it looking that way, but we do have a tendency to look at the past through rose-tinted spectacles, a filter of nostalgia. But I remember VHS looking good. Of course, that's all relative. We were watching good old standard definition television back then, too. But I never really had the thought that it looked terrible while I was watching it. Today, I want to take a look at VHS and determine if the filters that we see now are accurate, or if it's just another bit of nostalgia that we've gotten wrong. Stay tuned. I was born in the late 1970s, so I grew up in the VHS era. I was probably six or seven years old when my dad came home with our first VCR. It was a front-loading Hitachi, and we thought we had hit the big time. Granted, I was still a young child, but I remember the recordings looking almost as good as the off-air TV we were watching. Now fast forward into the early 1990s, and now I'm a teenager with a passion for audio and video. I'm trying to get the best quality out of everything that I own. Cassettes, albums, reel-to-reel, -reel, and videotape. Even with a critical eye at that stage, I still remember VHS looking fine. That's how I watched movies on a Friday night. They looked good, sounded good, and no one ever complained it wasn't good enough. Well, except maybe the Laserdisc guys, but there was only one or two of those in each town. But for the rest of us, VHS was fine. It couldn't be any better than the TVs we were watching it on to begin with. I set out on this video with a clear purpose. I want to show that VHS wasn't as bad as these filters and people's memories make it out to be. We just have to think about it from the proper perspective. For most people, watching on a 19-inch CRT from across the living room, it looked fine. So I decided to take my trusty RCA VHS camcorder and shoot some footage of the downtown area of the town that I live in. At the same time, I recorded the same scenes in 4K just for comparison. Now for clarity, modern 4K video is considered 2160p resolution. VHS is 240i. It won't be remotely close to the 4K, but I have a feeling it won't be as bad as you're expecting either. Bear in mind, these upcoming clips from an analog format have been captured and converted to digital, so it's going to look worse than it would have on a proper CRT display. I'm going to let you be the judge of the quality, so first we're going to take a look at the original 4K digital footage, and then we'll apply the VHS filter.
Now let's take a look at the same footage, but shot on VHS. I don't think it's going to look as bad as you think. So what do you think? Did you think the VHS looked okay? Now it isn't 4K, it isn't HD, it's not even 480p on a DVD. We're talking about old analog 240 lines of resolution on tape. Do you think it looked better or worse than what the collective memory nowadays says? Hopefully you think it looks a little bit better than you remember. But I'm up to interpretation. Leave your comments below, let me know what you think. And if you have any stories about VHS that you want to tell us, leave those down below too. I love reading through and answering as many as I can. You know, the statistics show that most people that watch the video aren't subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button down below. It helps me out a lot. It helps me keep going and make more videos for you. Well, until next time, that's all I've got. We'll see you here on the Vintage Electronics channel.